Hi, in this lecture, you will learn how to solve a simultaneous uh, congruence relation using the Chinese remainder theorem. So what it means is suppose that you have to solve for x the following congruences x congruent to 1 mod 5, x congruent to 5 mod 7, x congruent to 11 mod 23. Now the Chinese remainder theorem tells you that because 5, 7 and 23 are co-prime, there exists a single uh, congruence class uh, that contains all the x's, a congruence class mod 5 times 7 five, uh, times 23 that contains all the solutions x. So I'm going to demonstrate uh, how to resolve, how to solve for x using the methods that we see in class. So there is a straight up uh, uh, method to calculate one x. And once you have one x, then all the other x's that are congruent to that value mod five times seven times 23 will be the solutions, right? So I'll, I'll keep the same notations as we have in our lecture notes, and the link uh, is in the comments. So uh, I will create first a uh, value a, okay, that is the product of all my moduli, okay, so uh, a equals uh, five times seven times 23. All right, and that is 805. All right. Now, uh, we calculate now a one a two a three, which are the values that are the, uh, the a divided by respectively five, seven and 23. Okay, so a one is a divided by five. And that's 161. A two equals a divided by seven. And that's 115. And a three is equal to a divided by 35. All right, uh, 23, sorry, my bad. And that is 35. I was skipping ahead. Now, following this, we will calculate the values y i's for i equals one to three, which are the inverses of the a i's modulo uh, uh, five, seven and uh, 23, right? So y one is equal to a one inverse mod, uh, mod five, and that is equal to uh, one inverse mod five. I'm running out of space. That is one. Okay. Y two equals a two inverse mod seven. Okay. And that is five. And then Y three equals a three inverse mod 23. Okay. And that is equal to two. All right. So uh, now I'm going to move things around a little bit here. Uh, okay, so now what I have is I will call uh, x1 uh, 1, x2 5 and, and x3 11. Okay, so these are the values of, of x modulo 5, 7 and 23. And so what we know from uh, the lecture notes is that x sum, so there is an x0, okay. Uh, which is x1, y1 times a1 plus x2, y2, a2 plus x3, y3, a3, okay, for x1 equals 1, okay, x2 equals 5 and x3 equals 11, okay, so the, like I said, the values of x mod 5, 7 and 23. This happens to satisfy the congruence relation that we want, okay, so being congruent to 1 mod 5, 5 mod 7, 11 mod 23 for the proof uh, C uh, in the lecture notes. So all I have to do now is substitute with the right values, okay, and that will give me one particular solution. Okay, so 1 times 1 times 161 plus 5 times 5 times 115 plus 11 times 2 times 35. 
And that number is 3,806. Okay, so what do we learn here? We learn one particular x that satisfies our congruence relation. Now, all the x's, they're x0 plus k times 805, okay? For all k an integer. Now, typically, uh, because uh, 3,806, you know, we, uh, depending on the question, but it turns out, uh, usually, it's good practice to return uh, to show the congruence with x0 being between uh, 0 and, and n minus 1, where n is the modulus, right? So uh, between 0 and 804. So it turns out, but this, this would be already correct to say that it's uh, 3,806 plus k times 805, but sometimes I may ask, what is the unique solution between 0 and 804? So in this case, you would have to notice that 806 is congruent. So just by dividing by 805, you will notice that 800, uh, 3,806 is congruent to 800 and, sorry, 586 mod 805. So your solutions, so the set of solutions is the numbers of the form 506 plus k times 805 for k in z. All right. Previously, it was still correct, but depending on the question, you might have to find a particular solution that is between maybe 0 and 804. All right, so now you know how to solve a system of linear congruences uh, using the Chinese remainder method. Thank you.